Hi Apartment Therapy, my name is Candace, and welcome to my 650 square foot apartment in Portland, Oregon. When I first walked in, I was instantly attracted to the large windows, the vaulted ceilings really caught my eye, and it just felt like this space was up in the clouds. It was exactly the kind of lighting that I was drawn to. The space just felt really soft. This unit is an urban one bedroom, but because of the way that each room is sectioned off, it still feels like every area is its own private, almost sacred space. And I knew that it was gonna be a space that I could make into my own. So for the living room, even though it was attached to the kitchen, it still felt like a very grand open space. I wanted to continue that by adding in a lot of neutral light toned furniture that still made it feel very airy. My ultimate goal was to make it feel almost spa like or like that sense of calm that you get when you take a deep breath out. My Cardiel couch is definitely, I would say a focal point from the living room. It's extremely cozy. It literally feels like a cloud when you're sleeping on it. It's almost dangerous. I feel like I've taken almost one too many naps on this couch <laughs> when I should be doing work. But the center part of this living room is actually my coffee table. My coffee table was the first piece of furniture that I bought that was more of an adult purchase. I really wanted something that was angular, something that still felt neutral, but was a unique design and everything else just sort of started to form around that. I get a lot of questions about my credenza. It's actually from Ikea. It's a Stockholm stand. I went on quite an adventure to get it, but it's honestly one of my favorite pieces in the entire apartment. I put books in there, board games. I have a printer in there. It's basically just like hiding everything that would look a little bit cluttered in the space. And it adds a nice neutrality with the wood tones. My article rug is also a favorite of mine. Not only does it feel like heaven whenever you step on it, but I just thought of it as like the perfect fit for this living room and then the fact that it also adds zones is just sort of another bonus. Because of the kitchen island, the couch just intentionally fit in this space a lot better, but that meant that I got to divide the back part of the living room and turn that into sort of a music den of sorts. I'm a really big music fan. I love a lot of indie rock and a little bit of soul. So I use the open shelving behind me as sort of like an homage to that. I think there's a lot more color in that spot of the apartment. It's a place where I can just like put my music on, put on my records, dance around, have a good time. So we are now in my kitchen. Obviously when I first saw this kitchen, I was extremely attracted to the island. I've never had a kitchen island in any of my other apartments. And so I knew that this would be an amazing space for cooking, yes, but also dining, doing work. It's sort of a multifunctional space, to be honest. Similar to other areas in the apartment, there just wasn't a lot of storage, so I actually built these open shelves. I didn't want it to feel like they were weighing the kitchen down in any way. I obviously wanted them to look really nice and organized, like a beautiful focal point, but I was intentional about the light wood that I use or every like jar that I use for storage as well. And then when it came to styling the island, I think adding pieces that were very functional but also aesthetically pleasing is just a perfect recipe for me personally. So my fellow kettle is something that I use every day, but it also looks really nice on the counter. This fluted bowl for fruits or vegetables that I got from Etsy is one of my favorite pieces in the whole kitchen. I also have a Balmuda toaster oven in the back that looks really nice but also cooks so many things. When it comes to the full kitchen, I think functionality is key, but I also am surrounded by pieces that bring me joy every day that I love to look at and I think flow really nicely within the space. So moving into the bathroom, as soon as I saw the towels on the floor, to me it was really giving spa. I did my best to create my own in-home spa element, so I added things like really fluffy soft towels. I love the towels from Parachute Home. There isn't a lot of natural light in here, so I added in greenery by way of faux plants. A lot of people seem to like that I hang them on the shower. I think it adds like a little bit of a jungalow feel. I also feel like adding wooden elements like rattan or basket weave also help to bring the spa element to life. 
I'm very lucky to have an in-unit washer and dryer that work super well in this apartment. I think a lot of people don't realize how much time they actually spend in the bathroom getting ready for their day or just throughout the day. So to me, the bathroom is just as much of an important room as something like the living room or the bedroom and deserves just as much care and devotion for decorating. So we are now in my bedroom. I care a lot about sleep and getting good sleep. And so the bedroom to me is probably the most sacred space in this entire apartment. I feel like I'm changing out my linens and playing around with different colors all of the time. But right now my bedding is from Tufted Needle, amazing breathable linen pieces that just become softer with every single wash. I've played around with adding different colors, but ultimately because the windows are north facing, I like to add in a lot of warmer lighting through lamps, standing lamps, bedside table lamps. My standing lamp is from Bright Tech. My bedside table lamp is from West Elm. Having really unique pieces that even if they're from a place like Ikea, they don't look like they're from Ikea, are really important. That being said, this dresser is Ikea. <laughs> so in this apartment, there are only two closets. One of them is a half closet, and the other one in here is for my clothes. So when I was trying to figure out remedies for my storage issues, I did utilize a lot of baskets in this space. Some standing baskets, some under the bed, just for items that I don't use as much, that I just kind of tuck away, that are out of sight, out of mind. With more of an emphasis on textures, I'd say this is probably the most neutral space in the apartment. There are pops of color, but I really just want it to feel like a big fluffy cloud. So the entryway to this apartment is basically just a super long hallway. When I was planning what was gonna go there, to me it seemed like the perfect opportunity to incorporate as much storage as possible. The beginning part of the entryway is essentially just like shoe storage, coat storage. I have this amazing shoe rack from Open Spaces. I DIY'd these coat hooks from Target. They used to be gold. I just spray painted them black. I felt like it would flow a little bit better with the space. So as you move forward into the space, there's this credenza from Target that I hold all of my linens in. I love the arch mirror, and so I incorporated that into that little moment with this orb lamp from Ikea and a couple of knickknacks, holds my sunglasses, holds my mail, that sort of thing. After I'd incorporated those pieces, I felt like the hallway was very heavy to one side. So I added a few art prints to balance it out. I felt like the runner going down the middle really tied the whole thing together. To me, home means having a safe space where you can rest and nest and make it your own. Home is a place where you want to create a life for yourself. That's how I feel about it anyway. Like this apartment to me is a place that I want to bring friends and family to, but I also want to spend days just being with myself. I want to create art in here. I want to dance in here. I want to cook and laugh in here. But yeah, I don't know, I just love it here. I just feel grateful that this is a place I get to call home.